Hello there, and welcome to another ODU Esports stream. I am your caster, Benjamin Draper, and I am joined by... Uh, Uber. And we are here tonight with another Valorant match, as we are going to be seeing Old Dominion Varsity. They'll be facing off against the University of Lindenwood, so it's going to be a very exciting matchup, and we're figuring out what the maps are. We don't know what the maps are just yet. I believe you may have them pulled up, but in the meantime, I mean, it's going to be an exciting matchup for Valorant this week. I believe they played last week as well, right? And they had a victory in that matchup? Uh, yeah. Last week took their win. They have a few uh, kind of rough rounds starting out, but towards the end really got it together and pulled that one out. Mm -hmm. So it'll be very exciting to see how this team will contest tonight, as this will be another Nace Star League matchup. So they are one and zero on the season. So we're gonna have to see how Monarchs will shape up against this Lindenwood uh, squad. But overall, I mean, is there any uh, anything that you're looking forward to uh, from this team tonight? Definitely the biggest uh, players look forward to are definitely uh, Jaden and Combat Winger. Jaden, of course, XX Super Hot Girl, duelist player, always plays good, really pops off, and of course, Combat Winger, especially uh, last game where he got those two really good classic kills that really gave ODU the win. Mm -hmm. Yep, so that is what is going to be featured up at the moment here, and we do have the map, so our first map of the night will be Lotus, followed by map number two being on Bind, and if we do go to map number three, which will be on Ascent, and I'm a big fan of the Ascent uh, map, so I'm hoping that we will get to map number three there but of the three maps there are which map are you looking forward to the most i think definitely i think they're lotus because last time odu started off kind of weak on the lotus but towards the end really got together so hopefully we'll see a much stronger showing on the start this time. Mm -hmm. and lotus is that second uh three bomb map on this game other than haven which haven was taken out of the rotation out of off the last patch so it'll be interesting to see how the monarchs will shape up on the uh, the three bomb site map but in the meantime we're going to take a short break here and we're going to get the lobby set up but hope we you guys will tune in for more and we will be right back after the break
All right, so we are back here getting ready for map number one on Lotus. I believe we are get we are in the band selection here. Is there any specific uh, characters that you're hoping to see coming out of this Lotus game here? Uh, definitely for sure the one to look out for, of course, super hot girl dude, and definitely been playing raids almost everywhere else. Mm -hmm. so looking to see that heavy entry with the double satchel and the old through uh, C who likes me on Lotus. Mm -hmm. Besides that combat winger's breach, probably be pretty entertaining, and then of course GT Captain the Omen for the DMDs. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see because we have the three three bomb site map here, and it should be favorable for the attackers here because you have that third bomb site. So we're gonna see which side that the monarchs will be starting on here. But it'll be big if they can be able to start off on the attacking side and try to build up on a lead there on the attack and try to get something going here. But overall, I think we are just getting set to go for this map. Well, I think we're just waiting on to see what agents there are and which agents that the other team is gonna be countering with as well. Both teams definitely looking to get those C takes, especially after last game. The thing you really noticed was a lot of teams don't really favor that A push at all, whereas you see that more in like, you know, casual ranked, everyone favors the A. Really in the high level competitive, people's teams favor the C push a lot. Mm -hmm. So definitely going to see a lot of that in this match. So we're just waiting on everything going here, but if, I mean, looking ahead to Bind, Bind's a pretty good second map for these two teams here, and you said that the Monarchs got the victory on Lotus and pretty they started off a little slow on Lotus but they still came back and got the victory there I mean if we get to a map map number two with Bind I mean what are you looking forward to in that matchup for Bind for sure definitely looking forward to breach play especially with that old you know really getting that value you know maybe towards the old U-Haul or the old outside to really get them that uh early side control and get the plan down besides that just looking for some you know good defensive play good use of the I guess the rotation you can get on that map especially through the teleporters just looking for that you know really solid play from ODU and, from, and speaking about uh, last week's matchup, was there any big takeaways that you could take away from their performance from last week and hopefully that they, they could possibly get better at and also what they should continue doing after seeing their team uh, team's performance I last week? One of the things ODU was really good at was their hold on defense on Lotus really towards the end really got like a really solid play, especially with GT Cats holding that BC uh, link. Along with the C hold, they really just held it really strong. Mm -hmm. And then they had uh, Strawberry Cow anchoring on the A site with Chamber. So we were just looking to see more solid defensive play from them. Yeah, so we're just awaiting for the screen to pop up here for agents. So here we go. So they are in by phase. And we're jumping right into it. So you can see Raze, Jet, and Killjoy, as well as Omen, as well. So you can see the four usual suspects. Jet picks a new for sure. Oh, you last week, uh, I don't think they ran the jet. So that's a little new double duels comp ahead of the, um, I mean, instead of the double any in e comp. And instead of the, oh wait, no, never mind. I look at the wrong side. So no, that's, yeah, normal comp for ODU. They have the Rays, uh, Super Hot Girl, GT Cats on the Omen, Niche on the Gecko, Strawberry Cow on the Chamber, and Combat Winger filling with the Viper. A little bit of a weird comm coming from Linderwood. They're running the double duelist with Raze and Jet. Mm -hmm. And then instead of uh, Chamber, they're running that KG, a little bit more side control, especially on that B and C. It's going to be really big here for Old Dominion on attacking. It's going to be big on those first fights, too, just to see who's going to have the advantage with the duelist here. And you, like you mentioned, you have the du double duelist from Lindenwood. So it'll be very interesting to see how to defend here. But the Monarchs looking to have a big start here. And you can see that the majority of the action is probably going to take place at C. Like you had mentioned before, so we're going to have to see how things are going to transpire in this first round. But it looks like we have a little bit of a pause probably as timer is not going down from 10. Probably a P10. Guys, a PC issue. Assuming. Definitely the most common problem. So we're just awaiting for the start of this matchup here. But it'll be very, it'll be very interesting to see how things will transpire. You have the one player. You have the... You have the raise by herself there on A. You could possibly get something going over to A, but I think the majority of your action is going to be found here on C. Yeah, Linderwood going for the early gamble stack on C, playing four people near there, and then just leaving the KJ team on the watch for the push. Besides that, the raise just anchoring A, probably just looking to see a push back out if ODU comes in. So, okay, okay. So we're getting word that the server itself might just be frozen and we may have to restart this lobby but in the meantime we're going to take a short break here we're going to go to our brb screen for a little bit and try to see if we can fix these technical difficulties apologies on our behalf but we will be right back after this short break
Alright, so we are back with our first matchup here on Lotus. We had a little bit of technical difficulties with a crash on one of the players' ends here, but I think Poison we got off. everything situated, Toxic and we are down. good to go here with map number one. So let's see how things will transpire as Monarchs a little bit split with their attack, trying to figure out which, which side is better for them at the moment here, but I think they're going to figure out pretty quickly that A is going to be very, uh, very vulnerable because the raise is the only one there, right so there. we'll see how things will transpire. Yeah, it looks like ODU going for a bit of a default here. Just trying to get it, picking some value, maybe figure out where they're going. You can see Omen throwing out his, throwing out his smoke and trying to assist them as they are trying to make their way on the site. Maybe see. looking for the B split here. Yeah, on the smoke, yeah, the on the site. Go ahead and KJ through it. Not taking that space, gonna get planted down. So they are gonna pick B for the site, and a matter of timing there with Chamber, he possibly could have got that pick there, but Noosh will get the first one on the raise. So raise is out of the equation, and you have the rest of the team coming over from C. So let's see how the Monarchs will play off uh, this playoff time here as they try to get this bomb. Here. Everyone is holding these while waiting for someone to swing. Runs over with two coming from the link from uh, C. Probably off strawberry cow. One enemy oh, remaining. Gosh, they're they're off line. Splits. Again, the kill. ODU, solid post plant. Big play there from the Monarch. They didn't even lose anybody didn't else anybody. in that fight, too. So that's also pretty big for them in terms of their economy moving forward. They didn't have to rebuy other than the one member dying in that situation. But a good start there. Good, yeah, good start for first the Monarchs. round. Really solid post plant. A lot of good util being thrown out. And then Nishkin, getting that uh, first pick on the raise, he tried to just. Get that easy pick, slow them down, give them more time to rotate, giving them the round there. And it looks like that Lindenwood is going to continue doing the same thing right now with Ray's being the solo on A, and you have one on B. You just had KJ on, on B, but she's going to make her way over to C at the moment. So let's see what the Monarchs will do here. Yeah, Running with the same strat, it seems, at the moment. Lindenwood just really banking on that C push. Yes. Just leaving that KJ turret B, trying to give them that info. I get the first pick there, and there's a big, there's a big pick from Super Hot Girl, and that's gonna open things up. And there you can see the Omen smoke being thrown out. So here comes the Monarchs. They're gonna make their push on the A. Nobody is there to contest them. So if they can possibly get this bomb planted, it'll be big for them before the rotation is being made from this Linden One team. But overall, it's still a good start here to be able to overtake them. I believe that they're gonna get the info they need now, and there's the plant. So Nish is gonna get there, and Super Hot Girl with a big two piece right there. That's the third kill of the round. Possibly the ace. Oh my nice. goodness. <laughs> There's the ace right there from Super Hot Girl in the second round of this matchup. So a big ace gives the Monarchs a 2 0 lead. So a big round there. Super Hot Girl already popping off. And ODU just really taking advantage of that solo A to just keep on abusing that site. Linderwood trying to get that four man push on stairs, but Super Hot Girl just denying it with the Guardian, getting that solid two piece head tap, and then just finishing it off. Really good play right there from ODU. Linderwood now changing it up. Looks like they're running a bit of maybe a 2-1-2 a two, two or at least giving them a little more uh, A presence for sure. They have guns now though, so yeah. definitely going to change the field a little bit. And I do like the fact that they had Jet on C specifically because C is what they're really favoring 
of the Monarchs to push at the moment here. And Jet is one of your best duelists in this game overall. So, I mean, it's not a surprise that they're going to try to have her there. And you can see the split from the Monarchs here. We might have some action on both sides here. It's just a matter of who's going to get the first picks and the advantage in this situation. You can see Ray's and Combat Winger are right there on A. About to get some info here. And Niche getting his orb. Trying to get one closer to the ultimate there. Yeah, Odie really likes to farm up that gecko ult. It's really useful to take inside you're playing post plant. Looks like Odie giving up A and going back to play on C. Strawberry Cow already in sight gets picked off by the Ooh. enemy KJ. Combat Winger staying on the lurk. Trying to see if anyone overextends. Oh, not nah, peeking the guy on box, getting ratted out. Unfortunate. Not going to be able to check his corner there in that situation, and he's going to lose his life. So, Monarch's down two people already. Still very doable. They could still make a push here on C and possibly overtake it. So, it's a matter of getting picks here. And Nish will get that first one. And here comes Util out of Super Hot Girl. Trying to assist, but you can see Katz is going to lose his gunfight to KJ. Nish for that pick, though. Getting the ult, popping it, trying to get that control on Waterfall. Getting the plan down on Wingman. Now pushing to pick up the Util. And here comes the plant from Niche himself, and you can see the Monarchs will have a bit of an advantage, but they are going to be down a few players. Let's see if they can try to get some picks here and make it even, as that bomb time is going away here. So, Lindenwood's going to have to figure a way out to try to defuse here. Super hot girl, really scared useful dump right now. <laughs> Niche though, getting that back out of control, trying to hold as much space as he can. There's a kill there, right? Oh! Last player standing. Comes down to a 1v1. No matter the outcome of this fight, I don't believe he has time to defuse. Yeesh. There we go. Oh, nice little 4k that round. Nice finishing off the round there. And that's a big round for the Monarchs overall because they were facing a 2v4 situation, but managing to overcome that and being able to get the bomb taken out as well. So a big round there for the Monarchs, but... Noticing that, can we uh, fix the scoreboard real quick? Because it's uh, Monarchs are on the wrong side. A really solid take from the Monarchs right there. Uh, GT Cats throwing out the blind in conjunction with the uh, Gecko blind. And then Niche using the ult to get them off site and give them that free space. Taking that back alley and really just holding that space and using it to, uh, I guess, hurt the enemy team on the post plan. GT Cats fake TP, you can see. Enemy up close on rubble. Odie though bursting out and getting the pick. Big pick there for Super Hot Girl. They get the man advantage and it looks like they might make their push over to A. And Jet is the lone person over there defending at the moment. There. But the Monarchs don't have that info just yet. Making their way slowly up towards A. But stuff still can happen here on C. You still have the duo on both sides of site here so we're gonna see a lot of action about to come down here on possibly c and you can see members of the lender one team are making their way to b at the moment here possibly could go for a flank here and try to split off the team itself but let's see how things will transpire in the final 50 seconds looks like odu about to hit the door pushing into three of linderwood blind look at that blind and strawberry wouldn't go there strawberry cow with two picks there odu now going for the c split getting the plant down just unfortunate for Lindenwood there. It seemed that they had an advantage there with the teams both being split at B. They're just not able to win their gunfights. And Super Hot Girl finishing off that round for the Monarchs as they get the 4 0 advantage. Just a, a big start for this Monarch team overall here on Lotus. You, you mentioned they had the slow start on Lotus in last week's game. That does not seem to be the case at the moment here as their attacking has, has bitted them very well here so far. Yeah, Odie had really good timing in, especially that uh, util from GT Cats, getting the blind off, making the enemy back off, uh, giving Strawberry Cow the advantage and getting those two picks right there. So at the moment here, it looks like the Monarchs are going to be favoring C at here, so we'll see if they're going to actually commit. Yeah, it's got heavy C though, swinging into the op. That worked. Let's see if they might actually... You can see a different style from Lindenwood to going with the 2-2-1. But you can see their jet is making the rotation from B oh over yeah. to C. So Monster they're trying to reinforce over on C. As the Monarchs will get there in a full commit right now. And you can see Combat's going to lose his gunfight. But Super Hot Girl will get trade right back. Taking the op out of the equation. Once again having that Gecko will come out to uh, clear out Waterfall. And then using the Razor to push sight. Giving the free op to Super Hot Girl. You can see the plant being made at the moment. So the Monarchs 
have time on her hands as they just need to defend this bomb plant and you can see Lindenwood trying to figure something out. You got two coming from doorway and you got two coming from the response. So let's see how things will transpire as Strawberry will get the first pick on Omen. Super hot girl with with the op and he's just gonna utilize it and there's another kill. And they're killed around and there <laughs> there goes another four piece from Super Hot Girl. So taking over the game indeed. Just a big two rounds from Super Hot Girl as well as Niche having his four piece. They just had really good individual performances so far from these from these two players and the rest of the team just playing very well overall. Yeah, really solid teamwork and just utility issues coming out all around. Especially all the blinds and the ults just flying around really uh, doing their I guess purpose of getting them off side or giving them the disadvantage, really helping the team win those fights. Me team kinda on a weird some people on a half buy, some people on a full buy, so Looks like they're trying to kinda pair up to get those vandals if someone dies. You can see Strawberry taking out the KJ bot and not gonna be able to give off the information so they might make the push over to B at the moment here but you have three members of this monarch team at A and they might get into action here with the omen as the omen is gonna utilize his util he's gonna die in the process but Cass is gonna lose his life and his gunfight to raise unfortunately so the 4v4 at the moment here monarchs are making their way over to A it looks like they're gonna make the commit already but you have some members of the Linda one team making their flank and they might catch strawberry off off guard here, so let's see how things will transpire as Strawberry by himself. He'll get the first pick. Can he get the second? Ooh, he will. Oh Strawberry. my goodness, what a good pair of kills. By himself though, pushing in the two, beats the KJ with the Revy and then getting or excuse me, the jet, and then gets the KJ trying to leave. And you can see the jet still trying to chase through B at the moment here. Not gonna be able to catch him as he's gonna be able to reunite with the rest of his team. They got the bomb planted. A big pair of kills there from Strawberry and being able to survive that and being able to reunite yeah, with his team. Spot. Wonder would definitely change it up a little bit on the start of that round, especially with the Omen being a very aggressive on A, throwing that mm -hmm. line and just swinging in three people. One, enemy One pick on Strawberry on the stairs. Super Hot Girl did get the refrag on that kill, so they still have time remaining on this bomb being done here, but it does not matter. The Monarchs are going to get the victory anyway, so it's 6 0 at the moment here. If we can get a peek at that scoreboard. You can see the Monarchs is being led by Super Hot Girl, 15-1-2, and, and then Niche right there behind him, 6-4. and four. I mean, a pretty big effort here, and you got 5-2, and two, so you have three Monarchs in positive figures at the moment here. Combat and Cats, unfortunately, not in positive figures yet, but still an overall strong start on the attacking side here for the Monarchs, and we just got to hope that this Monarch team can just build up on it as much as we can before we get into the next half, because next half, it'll be much easier on this map. <coughs> For them so we'll see how things will transpire and see how things will be for them defending wise once again throwing that uh viper orb to get that rubble space no one peeking though so you just get in that free area there strawberry cow pushing up on sands nobody contesting enemy raids holding close though maybe with a shotgun grabbing the orb following up that raise hold The gunfight happening over on C, but Strawberry is not going to commit to the end of that fight. Grabbing the orb, getting the chamber all online. No picks at the moment here. Still a minute left to play. The Monarch's up tree right now. Coming out on the site, maybe. It's going to come down to this pick on Omen. If they can get Omen out of the equation before the rotation is made, this Monarch team can definitely get the bomb planted. But you can see they're making rotation already. Combat trying to lure him out, and Combat's gonna get killed in the process, unfortunately. Strawberry Cow lurking up main, along with GP Cats. Not able to get the bomb planted in that situation left. too, so that's also another thing to note as well. And Strawberry might be able to get into a fight with this raise here. Let's see how things, if the raise is gonna peak him at the moment here. Not a lot of time on the clock. It's like that outside. Oh, do you have to make a move here? Can you get the raise? Ooh. Oh. Player standing. Enemy is popping the ult and getting a kill. Ten seconds one v two now. Still one of them. No, I stalled out the clock. Unfortunate for the monarchs there. So, just a little bit matter of timing there. If they were able to get the bomb plant on that first on that first situation before combat lost his life, that would have been big for them on the attacking wise. But then the wood they hold firm pretty well. On A, it seemed like the monarchs had themselves a little bit of advantage there with the numbers, just not able to. Uh, get the uh, get the uh, omen off of the uh, site, I believe. There, 
and not yeah. being able to get the bomb planet. So unfortunate for the Monarchs, but Lindenwood gets one right back. And let's see how the Monarchs will try to rebound off of that first round loss in this matchup so far. Yeah, definitely got uh, caught up in trees a little play, bit that round. Kind of got slowed down by that open blind. There. Four manning up C now, though, with uh, Strawberry Cat lurking on A. And you can see the jet is making the rotation over to C as well. And you can see Super Hot Girl going to utilize the robot. And going to utilize the, the ultimate. Can he get the kill off of it, though? Inside emptying all that space. Oh, you free on T. You get the plant down. Planning for mound with the... Won't get any kills from that ultimate, but that ultimate still played a way of clearing up sight for them to get enough time to plant that bomb. So let's see how things will transpire as the Monarchs are just going to have to try to hold off. Another cow with that chamber off online, just holding the flank. Everyone else on site right now. Linderwood looking to flood the waterfall alley. Ready to come in. Here comes the pick. Combat with the pick himself before he lost his fight, and Super Hot Girl gets one there. A bunch of trades here. Cats will get will get raised in the process. 3v2 situation. 2v2 now. And there's a shot there from Strawberry. Did he prevent the defuse? Yeah. He did. Good swing from Strawberry there, really uh, getting that round out with that last little op kill. I believe regardless of that op kill, they wouldn't have been able to defuse it in yeah. that situation anyways. It was going to be round one. But no matter what, I mean, still taking one out before you go down, I mean... I mean, gotta have that uh, little moral victory. Definitely get a, what was, uh, Can I get you a know, a bit of a save though, because mm. he's popping the off. So I mean, either way, any picks you get with it's good. You know, not to pay for it. Mm -hmm. So Monarchs are up seven to one here. A pretty good matchup so far for the ODU. Let's oh, yeah. see if they can try to dominate the rest of this first half, as the majority of this half, first half has been attacking sided. But let's see if Strawberry can get this first pick over on C. Find the enemy raise. Only has a revolver right now. He will finish off that kill, so a big pick to start the round. Monarchs get the advantage. And you can see they're making their way up towards tree and making a way on A, so. Let's see if they can do something here. It seems like they're just gonna back off now, so. They're gonna. I was gonna use for the B. B take right here. The window would maybe expect it. Oh no, just faking the, faking they're the door. Going opposite side, they are gonna be making their way over to C. It's been favoring them in the last few rounds. Might as well not get away from it. Yeah. Hitting the little raise bot there. Still looking to go on site. And you have their KJ right there in the corner. Can Strawberry sent it out? They're going to have it blocked off at the moment here. You can see Combat can utilize his Viper. His Viper ult. So let's see if they can get the bomb planet. They will. So Monarchs have time in their hands. And they just got to defend it once again. Niche holding out that Echo uh, wall again. Right in the Strawberry being able to get that kill, so another big kill. And he'll be able to get another kill. That's a three piece already. Possibly going for an ace. Here comes the jet. Possibly gonna peek. One enemy remaining. Ooh, with the up. Uh, hmm. Unfortunate, but still a big round overall from Strawberry as he helped this monarch team get on C and able to open things up. And another round one for ODU here, so 8-1 to in their favor in map number one of this best of three series, so let's see how things are going to transpire in these final few rounds before we switch sides. Good play from Strawberry Cow there, popping out, getting that kill, and then holding that space, tracking the jet long enough for uh, the rest of his team to come up behind her and just get the trade for free. Enemy jet now too, also on a light buy because she bought that uh, operator now, forced to play Sheriff. Cody running a bit of a B play right here. Underwood pushing out aggressively from B. Strawberry Cow getting a pick. There's another one, but you can see the Jet's gonna get the kill right back on Strawberry. He's gonna be able to take his weapon too. So that'll be big for Jet being able to not rock with the Sheriff at the moment here. And you can see the Monarch's already on A. Can he get the bomb planet and the kill? He will. Super Hot Girl gets the kill on Omen finally, and they're gonna be able to capture A, and they will get it planted once again. So this has been big for the Monarchs overall in this game they've been able to get on site they've been able to get that bomb planet and just play out the play to the defense that they need they haven't really wasted no time getting on sites and trying to like break it open they've been able to utilize it to their advantage and that's why they've won a majority of these rounds so far Linder would uh, transpire giving up that spawn control and then he's using his ult to make sure they're not there again you see cats getting that kill there on KJ. 
Super Hot Girl adding the kill on Jet, and there's combat. Final kill of the round, another big round for the Monarchs. They increased the lead to 9 to 1. Just a solid first half here overall for ODU. Really solid post plan. ODU just taking them out from those heaven swings. Maybe Linderwood just giving them too many ones. But very surprising though. I mean, to start that round, you saw the aggressiveness coming out to be a little bit surprising on their part, but it seems that Lindenwood is getting a little bit desperate and just trying to figure something out, trying to get that one round, but they just haven't been able to figure out this ODU team at the moment here. Yeah, I think the most surprising thing for me was that they completely gave up all that spawn control. They didn't have anyone go for a flank. Maybe like a three-man flood there. Mm -hmm. Linderwood being aggressive again, taking that rubble eight. control. Maybe trying to contest it right now. He'll get that first pick there on Raze. So that's another big pick for the Monarchs starting off this round. And that's another big thing to note as well. First picks have been in Monarchs' favor for the majority of this game so far as well. So that's something to take into account on why the success has been on their side at the moment here. Yeah, Linderwood left with one person on the A. And another one rotating over. Kill. Even the Jet on C though, riding in the corner, mm -hmm. likely with the Judge. There's another shot going. Looks like ODU doing the B-split again. They're gonna get the kill on KJ trying to contest that plant, not gonna be able to do any mu not much with it anymore. So it'll come down to Omen and Jet, who are both on opposite sides of the map, and the Monarchs have them both split up. So let's see how things are gonna transpire with these last two members. You can see Omen just gave himself away, and there's a kill from Super Hot Girl. Yeah, Jet with the judge. Unfortunately, not able to get any picks right there. Strawberry Couch finishing her off. Another good round for round in the half. Their economy is going to be so shot too, I'm pretty sure. So Lindenwood really just doesn't have much to counter with to this Monarch team unless they can get some easy picks with the guns that they have to utilize now and try to get the better ones off of the Monarchs. But overall, Lindenwood is just at a big disadvantage right now and ODU is just looking to capitalize in the final round of this half before we switch sides, before the Monarchs will be on the defending side themselves. But even then, if they finish this half off with 11-1, they just need the two rounds to win it, and they will be the victors for map number one. So. I wonder what aggressing out of rubble again this time. This time three man. You want to play? Let's play. Using that buy to their advantage, trying to get some picks. Picking off Super Hot Girls early in the round. Definitely going to put ODU to disadvantage here. Strawberry Cow popping that chamber roll, pushing out sand. Looks like ODU going for the C take now that they know there's a lot of people pushing out of uh, rubble A. And they do have time in their hand. They might be able to get this bomb planted before the rotation is even made. Getting that plant down with Wingman. So we'll see how things are going to transpire here. I mean, the Monarchs got on C. They got the rotation they needed. They get the bomb planted. Now it's up to Lindenwood to overtake and try to defuse here. Yeah, ODU with full slack control. Pushing in the back alley maybe a little bit. See Cass losing his life in that gunfight, but combat will get one back, and you can see the Jack getting killed, trying to utilize her ult. Not to any avail, though. Strawberry gets the pair of kills. Gets picked off, though, by the flank. Ooh, Man. but it comes down to Niche. Niche, once again, in back alley, holding. Gets seen by the enemy KJ, though. Excuse me, enemy Gecko, who's now popping the threshold. Gets him stuck. That will probably be the end for Niche. Or not. They're just not pushing him, even though he got locked down. Gives him the free kill. Not gonna do much off of that. I mean, timing was the key right there. Yeah, it still got the defuse off though. Yep. Switching I'm surprised. They so it's still a big half. I mean, overall, they got 10 rounds on the attacking side. They just need a few more here and they will win this map number one. So, I mean, a great half overall for the Monarchs, but on the defensive side, what are you really looking for from them to try to lock down here? I mean, for sure, definitely looking to see some strong chamber. You know, he's a Sentinel, so mm -hmm. definitely wanna see strong plays on that cam TP, just get that info. And then, you know, just strongholds in general. Really look for that Viper Molly and Viper Orb to come into play here. Looks like Strawberry Cow going to be pushing out of C like usual on Chamber. Linderwood stacking C with a five-man round one. Strawberry may have his hands full at the moment here, but you can never doubt Chamber in this situation. I mean, for sure. You can always just TP out, get the info, then ODU rotate over. Mm -hmm. Let's see how things are going to play out. What are you trying to counter that A push? No one there though. Strawberry Cow TPing out immediately because he sees that five man rush. Looks like Combat Winger rotating around to help. Linderwood already on site with the raised double satchel with the shorty. Combat Winger though getting the trade. Linderwood now fully on site with control getting that plant down. Spike planted. Bomb, bomb planted pretty early there, so let's see how the Monarchs are going to have to try to overtake here. But it's still a 4v4 situation. It's even level field. 
just a matter of getting the picks here and super hot girl with the first pick on jet and not gonna be able to get the second one on omen they're gonna lose their wife and uh, lose their wife in the process and combat with the refrag on omen as well linderwood pretty much all playing water in front side Ooh, niche and caught with yuto in his hand gt cats all alone now getting the head tap both enemies really low definitely get the double pick here what's another death one enemy really one right click these are just stick it here. Enemy Gecko though, going on the mound and getting the pick. Definitely a close round though, for sure. Definitely. It, it's unfortunate for Nish in that situation too, because he had he got caught with the U2 out. But if the timing was there for him in that round, I believe that the Monarchs could have won that. Because he possibly could have got that, that kill there, but it's just unfortunate timing there on his part. But uh, overall, I mean, it's one round. First round goes to Lindenwood. That's definitely the start that they needed on the attacking side knowing that this is a three-side map. So let's see how things are going to play out here. As you can see, Lindenwood might be favoring C once again. So let's see if the Monarchs can possibly get some early pickings here. And you should definitely just not expecting the aggression from the KJ there. Mm -hmm. Linderwood with the raise on the Judge again. Likely just looking to check out, check out the uh, chamber again with the double satchel in. Linderwood coming in now on the site. They're, they're being so really aggressive, close. and there's a big pick there from Combat. Loses his life. Combat, we're getting that. two. One with the Molly. Oh, nice. I didn't two even notice guns that. Two free on Good side. you can go pick him up. Spike planted. 4v3 now. Odie with the numbers, at least. Got to be careful about that raise judge. Still around backside. You're going to pick on the brick. Excuse me, on the jet. Close waterfall. And grabbing her Vandal. Free Vandal for ODU. Getting the raise with the classic GT Cats. One left on sand. 3v2 right here for ODU. GT Cat's looking to swing out. Get that KJ. Take to the KJ. There we go. The ODU still getting the round and a free Vandal. They still kill her off anyway, so overall, still a solid round there for the overtake. And definitely going to be a heavy save for Linderwood buying those Vandals up. Mm -hmm. And ODU able to save a little bit of economy as well, picking up those Vandals. I would say I would be a little bit surprised that they came out with the Vandals in round two of the second half like that, but I'm also kind of not surprised because you have to be a little desperate here. You're down eight rounds to seven rounds in that case before that round. Like, you have to do something to try to battle back round by round in this one. So, I mean, it's a high risk, but you gotta go for it. This you point. have to go for it. And Linderwood was definitely looking to get uh, Strawberry Cow with the raise uh, mm -hmm. judge, but just not able to get it. Either missing the satchel or Strawberry Cow just adapting to it, ready for it this time. And it was big for combat in that round two, getting the double pick there to open up that round. But you gotta you gotta like this for Lindenwood. They're being very aggressive and they're they're making it known that they wanna capture C and they wanna make sure that they can defend it at all costs. But Boys you can see the off. plant being made here. No lives taken away on either Five part. So here. let's see. What the Monarch's gonna do here in this 5v5 situation to try to overtake C once again. Oh, do you probably just looking to put the no or not the numbers, excuse me, the gun advantage here. They know they have better guns, so they're yeah. trying to leverage that to get the easy picks on them. Super hot girl with the open opening kill there. Trouble cat with the tab. Oh, do you though, just covering them. And they just kills. have it on lockdown. Ooh. Poor not KJ giving up there. any lives in that gunfight either. That's also something to note in that situation. Clean but take overall. From Poor enemy KJ at the end getting surrounded and sprayed down. <laughs> Unfortunate, but the Monarchs are now going to get on match point here, and that was just a beautiful round. I mean, it was expected they had the better weapons, but match point. still, better weapons great round they uh, saved the util for the retake. Yeah, Linderwood just popping it all early again. That early side control, getting the plant for I guess economy, so they can buy this last round. It's now or never for Lindenwood, or we're just going to have to be getting ready for map number two, which will be on Bind. So, let's see if Lindenwood can try to make this a little bit interesting, or if the Monarchs can. Uh, Put away this dominating game one that this has been. Looks like Linderwood going for the C take again, maybe. Like going for the C again. You got Strawberry Cowboy getting the pick, backing out again. Classic chamber right there. I did, I, yeah, you gotta respect it. You gotta that. respect it. They're just working with what's best and trying to. I mean, I'm sure they know they have the you know the gun disadvantage or the mm -hmm. armor disadvantage, so they're trying not to get that long lane on A and just. They know they can get Seaside and get the plant down. They just got to win the post plant. Looks like Jet here trying to be aggressive, playing in the smoke, looking to swing. Shall we catch him off guard? He will get the kill, though, for Tupac Girl loses their life in this situation. Probably Cow with the three K this round so far. Pulling out the chamber dig. Still could go for the ace. Cover going out. Strawberry Cow peeking out of alley. 
Will we get an ace to finish off game number one between these two teams? Yeah, keep pushing him, but he oh. gets it. The spray through the smoke. I spoke it into existence. Another ace. Second and ace for ODU. Another ace for ODU, that indeed. And we also had the multiple four, the four bangers in those rounds as well. But overall, I mean, a great effort from the Monarchs. If we can just see the scoreboard real quick before we switch over to Caster Screen. So it's finishing off the game. I mean, Super Hot Girl, 26, 6, and 5. I mean, overall, just a beautiful game. And then Strawberry, right, fall, falling right behind them, 29 and 5. Combat, 10, 9, and 7. So the Monarchs. They played pretty well. They only had one go in negative, but overall, no, still no, like no one negative. Just GT Cats going even, eight, eight, eleven. Oh, my mistake. I was looking at the wrong thing. But yes, I mean, still nobody going negative in that situation. Yeah. And the Monarchs decisively getting the victory there, thirteen to three. And looking ahead to map number two on Bind. And I mean, you know, GT Cats and Niche really just setting up the rest of the team to frag off with that yeah. util there, especially off that Omen blind and Gecko blind. A lot of good util, a lot of good team play. Definitely a good game for ODU. Great effort on the attacking side here, but we're just going to have to see how things are going to transpire over in map number two. I mean, seeing what happened in that first game, I mean, what is what are some things that they need, they really need to continue doing going into Bind? Because Bind is a different map compared to Lotus. It's not as big as your typical Lotus, but overall, I mean, got to figure out some strategy for that next map. Uh, I mean, for sure. I know last game they played a lot of uh, Sova and Cypher, especially on their B side, and then you know, strong side A with their three people there. So really just looking forward to keeping up that strong attacking momentum on bind and just making sure they hold that defense as well. Um, I know Cypher on the defense is going to be careful you know, about the, uh, the rotate, especially about the teleporters on bind. So mm -hmm. make sure they keep up, I guess, that game sense, you know, they're trying to read that enemy team. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see because I, I'm a big fan of B-Site. B-Site's a fun, uh, fun, uh, fun site for me whenever I play. So it'll be interesting to see how the teleporters will be utilized. And it's also about mid-map control there uh, going going through a uh, teleporter there at the mid map so it'll be interesting to see how things are going to play out with this game but overall i mean decisive the victory in map number one but can't get ahead of yourself here lindwood they could possibly just come back in map number two and have a vengeance after that map number one performance but i mean overall just take it round by round try to get closer to the victory and try to end this in two games then needing to go to a third map which would be on ascent if we did make it to map number three but overall, we're going to take a short break here. We're going to get ready for map number two as Monarchs and Linda Wood will be taking place on Vine. But in the meantime, we hope you've enjoyed so far and we'll be right back after the break.
All right, and welcome back, folks. We are here with game number two of Old Dominion and Lindenwood Varsity Valorant. And you can see the map is going to be on bind, and you can see Rays coming out with Super Hot Girl coming out with the Rays. We we got the jeez. <laughs> I Lindenwood the with the weird comp running the Reina and the KJ. KJ not especially known for being good on bind. <laughs> yeah. Definitely more of a cipher chamber map. So I'm excited to see how Lindenwood was going to make that work. OD running a more traditional comp instead running the double any though. With the gecko in the sky, so you're gonna get flash and you're gonna get gecko flash. That's I'm glad we see fun. a cipher here too. I, I'm cipher is a pretty good character on this map itself, so I'm glad to see the cipher coming out. Like I mentioned to you before, I haven't played Valorant in a minute, so it's it's nice to see that that is still the thing nowadays. And you see the double skies coming out from both teams. I'm a big fan of skies with nerf flashes, so we'll see how things are gonna play out here as the mana. They'll be on the defending side. Definitely more of a Cypher chamber map for sure. So yeah. I'm not really sure how his cage is gonna work. Not really it's very yeah, yeah, that that threw me off actually too with, with the KJ being brought out by Linda one. I mean I guess they have some strats with KJ on this map. It's gonna be interesting to see, but it looks like that they're gonna be favoring over towards B side at the moment here, so we'll see how things are gonna play out. Linderwood definitely looking to get that Sky Reina combo going with the Reina out high flash, so mm -hmm. you're gonna have to watch out for that. Looks like they're running the normal play with the Strawberry Cow and Combat Winger on B. This time they're changing out the Silver for a Sky. Sky utilizing her flashes as much as they can, trying to make their way up. Be long, but they're not going to make their way up at the, the moment here. So let's see how things are going to transpire. It still seems it's going to be a B push, and you can see the rotation kind of being made. Combat Winger though definitely has to be careful with the splashes now that they do not regenerate like they did last patch. So mm -hmm. definitely have to be more conservative with them. And you can see that this Lindenwood team is making their way slowly up. And Strawberry's gonna get his first oh action of the game. Oh. He will get the kill. Can he get the second guy though? It's Omen. A little bit of a whiff as he pushes it out. Oh. We're coming inside uh. we're get her all good. Uh. Her in the Rain of Robad, she's gonna kill it right up though. Spike planted. Super hot girl TK the TP for the flank. Yeah. Yeah. Hot girl popping off, two kills already. The 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 One enemy oh Another my headshot. Goodness. Looking for the 4k here. Ooh, GT Cats though, getting the kill, finishing the round up for ODU. <laughs> you would have hoped Super Hot Girl I wanted to stop the 4 banger, yeah, but hey, still. Good flank though from GT Cats and Super Hot Girl. Jaden just popping off, getting that 3k, all headshots too with the ghost. <laughs> yeah, I mean. That's a big round loss for Lindenwood there. They had the advantage. They had the three kills right there, opening side up, and then you just have to worry about the flank. But the flank doing all well, hitting the headshots. I mean, there's only so much you can do in that situation when the opposition hits three headshots like that and takes you out of the equation. Lindenwood just, I don't know, maybe with it. I don't know. Cause it's, I don't know, man. Jaden just hitting that re-swing, hitting those headshots to get in the win there. Looks like ODU trying to do aggressive showers here, get that space and get the orb for the burn to farm up. Or, uh, or raise, excuse me. That is definitely not the start that they would have wanted, though, for sure. Let's see how they're going to try to rebound off of this. It looks like they're going to be making their way towards A, and he's getting the first Spike pick on KJ. A. It's a big pick there with the Guardian. Possibly going to get some extra here. He's going to be using some utility there to keep them at bay at the moment, and you can see some rotations being made over towards the restroom, or showers, I should say, so... Backing off though, not really willing to peak showers right now. Contact. So they're still four manning short. Combat winger on the B long, dogging through trying to get some info. And he's just gonna have his action right here. So Linderwood still committed on the A short. And Looks you can like see the flank, flank is being made though. Super Hako coming up with the Vandal. Oh boy. There's one. For another pick. There's a second. Third pick. He's got a three bang right now. Hawker though on the flank getting another kill. GT Cat just running her down with the Spectre getting the kill. Round two goes to you. I love that flank from Super Hot Girl though. I was hoping that they would have gotten more kills out of that situation, but overall, I mean, you gotta love that flank trying to pinch them as much as you could because they were just sitting there for quite a while yeah, there. I'm they were quite surpri anything. surprised that they did not make a move off of that situation. They thought about going to showers, they back off of showers. They go back to A short, don't even do anything A short, and they get caught in this situation, and the Monarchs just pinch them down and they get the round, so 
a big start for the Monarchs defensively here overall, but I mean, Linderwood, they definitely feel that they could have had that first round in this match. Yeah, right Linderwood was uh, definitely just looking for that re-hit there, but just indecisive, couldn't figure out where they wanted to go. Yeah. And Super Hawker was taking advantage of that early space they got to push out and get a few kills. And he's right. having a big round himself, just maintaining his angle and being able to keep them at bay on A short. So, I mean, a big round overall, but let's see how things are going to transpire as A is still the destination for Lindenwood here. Let's see if they can figure out what they want to do, though. Rotating off to short, going towards B right now. Yep, so rotations being made as we speak of being an A push. Pushing right into the cypher, though. Strawberry cow. Holding that space right there. Let's go get all the info right now. Combat winger already hitting the rotate. Oh. They found my wife. Pushing the hookah right now. It's KO night. And flash, but oh, no. Linderwood didn't see it for a second. Almost got a pick there. Linderwood on site now, pushing in for Luka and Garden. Last Starting to get that plant down. Spike planted. Comes down to Super Hot Girl. Kitty Cats, though, getting that pick, hurting their economy as well that he can. Super Hot Girl pushing up out this of the uh, spawn. Very doable. There's Ooh, a pick. Nice little head tap right there. About to be swinging into the KJ, though. Still gets a pick, not bad. Nice little headshot to end things off before losing that fight to Reyna, unfortunately. But still, Lindenwood with a good attack there. You got to give him props with a good attack, and they utilize the util. But you could have seen Strawberry <laughs> if it was just a little bit of the timing there. If they did not notice that Strawberry was still in that corner after being KO'd, I mean, that would have been so unfortunate for them because it seemed that Strawberry had his litter for all the picks right there, but not being able to capitalize off of the timing there. Yeah, enemy KO. Lucky he checked that corner yeah. the last second. He's lucky break he out, almost got that kill. Strawberry was just a second away from being able to utilize his gun, guns again. And there's an opening kill from Super Hot Girl utilizing her ultimate, so that's a big opening pick. Give an ODU that A short space, ready to push out into... Being aggressive in A short as we're speaking there. Looks like Omen is contesting with them at the moment. He's gonna throw out his smoke. Enemy team now rotating around to B guard and Strawberry Cat though with the game getting that info. And KO by himself trying to push on A short himself. Let's see if Gecko can possibly take him out. Niche definitely watching that info. Some cats utilizing some some of his util trying to give him smoke and you can see the pick there from KO. Unfortunate Super Hot Girl gets caught from there. And Combat lost his gunfight to the omen as well, so. Lindenwood, they get some picks back. They get the man advantage at the moment here. 4v3 with 50 seconds left to play. Let's see how things are going to transpire. Strawberry by himself on B at the moment. Holding that little uh, cubby. Sees the Reina though. Gets the spray. Can't get the second though. Gets the Omen as well. Oh, doesn't get the Sky though. Big two picks though as he gives his team a little bit more time as they make the rotation left. over. And he's with this Gecko. Going to be the first on hand to try to overtake and try to prevent it. A plan here. Putting them in a 2v2 though. Enemy KO though. Popping that ult. Getting rid of the util. Ult over though. Popping the Dizzy. Pushing on the side. Hits the pick. Ooh, one Last left. One v1. One. There Yeesh is. getting the kill on the KO. From OD round 4. Solid play once again. Gotta love that flash from Nish there too. Just Get making up. sure to take that one player out of the equation there and giving him that advantage. ODU now as well, having the Gekko ult online, and the Cypher ult. They definitely have multiple ults. Let's see how they're going to use them in this round. Lindenwood trying to figure something out on their own. They got the one round, possibly could have had the second round, but they still have, they've had a pretty decent attack so far. You, you can't discredit them at the moment. It's just a matter of picks right now, and you can see that the Monarchs just favoring off of those picks, as well as the early picks too. The early picks have been big for the Monarchs too, especially with Raze getting that that ultimate kill to start off the last round, yeah. so. It's all pushed out short, and the Strawberry Cow getting that uh, push out in the cubby. Take Keeping that out. little angle, jiggling and getting the Raina with Spike the spray. Down a. Looks like Super Hot Girl and Yeesh though, pushing out a short again this round, getting two picks and Spike down. Strawberry Cow maybe looking to get the flank here. They definitely could pinch him. Enemy Garden though, super hot. You can see the Strawberry Cow getting the kill. Can Gats figure out where this right here. jet is? Right here. He's gonna get the info. Seeing the One enemy remaining. And he's finishing it off. Spike so down it'll come down a. to KO, who is still stuck there. He's still there by A short. 
trying to pick up that uh, gecko decoy right there. He's going to back off. He, I think Cypher's about to get into a, a fight with him. It's going to be Strawberry. Ooh, Not going to win that gun fight, unfortunately, swing. though. Definitely hit him, though, for a good amount of damage. 80 to 120. Easy cleanup for the rest of ADU. Here comes Super Hot Girl trying to finish up. And then he came flashing himself, I think. <laughs> you guys def double I think flash. he did. I think I saw the little aura on his head. And he's just going to finish that round. Yeah, Another three hits. I think you're right, though. I did see a little bit of an aura there on his head yeah, that he flashed, he flashed himself. himself. So Monarch's up ahead. 4-1 to one here. Doing pretty well on the defensive side here. Yeah, definitely see some good defensive play. A lot of a short pushes, really getting one, two picks, you know, really putting the enemy team down early in the round. And the aggressiveness, too, on a short, they've just been able to maintain that aggressiveness and being able to not give away kills as well. So, being able to get the picks and not giving away any kills, I mean, it's been a big start for this Monarch team overall. So, let's see how things play out here. It looks like four members over by B side with the lone uh, lone KO by himself on A by showers. And Strawberry Cow is doing a good job getting that space too throughout his rounds. Just pushing up holding and it. Okay, we'll get Come that pick on Cats. Out. Unfortunately in showers. One more in showers to counter him. Super hot girl. Let's see how things are going to play out. Then no one gets that open pick. And you see the sky is making a rotation through their spawn as well. Maybe of some assistance of Super Hot Girl trying to Get the kill here. He'll get the nade off. Bring in the KO for sure. Gets him with the satchel. Oh. Wins, or excuse me, loses the fight though. Enemy KO getting the Vandal now. Looks like enemy Sky running to A to pick up the Vandal as well. I've got your trail. And we're popping the Sky hole, getting that info. Pushing on the B. On the winger backside fighting. And he's just still by himself on A at the moment here. Still 30 seconds left to play. Glennwood still Ooh. needs to get on site. They still need to get a plan left. off. And you can see Strawberry loses his fight there. And Strawberry Cow getting caught in the back by the enemy. Right now. Like oh. Gave up the B push, pushing around to A. And there comes the put. There comes the plan on A. So fight Monarch's planted. at a disadvantage here. I'm out there fighting the lurker. Ooh. Picked off by the sheriff. And Lindenwood didn't even give off any lives in that round, too, we so that's going to be big doing. for them to try Trust to bounce their way back. We'll their economy will be boosted up a little bit. But look at those guns from OG, then. Be able to save up, mm -hmm. get their get their armor. They'll be able to they'll be able to play pretty well in this round. Let's just see if they can try to capitalize off of it and try to get that eco back. Let's go to you once again, getting that shower space, trying to get the orb, get more ults. Right there! Outside B right now. Two pushing up Buka, three pushing up Garden. Strawberry Cow, Combat Winger, inside again. You are they are favoring this B push at the moment here. Okay, we're popping the KO, getting ready to come in. KO already outside, pushing Combat Winger, get stunned by the dog. Ooh, again, ran down by the KO. And then Strawberry Cow, again, also getting ran down by the Reyna. Linderwood now on site, planning. Planted. Rest of ODU now on the retake. Blow him up, Mars. Niche mauling off the elbow push. Making time to push on the main. Off of the gecko wall. Clearing out elbow. Gets one locked down though, covered by the rest of the team. Super hot girl gets a pair of kills there. It's a big pair. Ooh, nice kill. Nice kill from cats. A pair of kills from cats himself. What a big overtake from the Monarchs here. They're going to get the bomb defused possibly. He'll get it halfway, Ooh. but unfortunately the KO is going to counter and get the kills he needs. And he'll finish off a four banger of his own as Lindenwood staves off that staves off that possible overtake there from the Monarchs. I mean, they had the kills there. They got the pair of kills from both the uh, uh, Super Hot Girl and Cats in that situation, but KO just overcomes that 1v3 and gets the... Defense right Unlucky there. Chaos swinging out and gave him that head tap right on uh, GT Cats and Super Hot Girl. Or excuse me, on um, Nisha Super Hot Girl. And then GT Cats just getting sprayed through the smoke into head taps. It's unfortunate there, but KO with the better play. Get, getting his team one round closer. It was a 4 to 1 game here, but Linda won coming off back to back round wins as they've had some pretty good pushes on B here. Trying to get a tie in this matchup here on map number two. They really are just committed to be at the moment here. It's what's been working with them. Here comes some util out of them. Oh, do you though with the early rotate from Super Hot Girl? 
Where are you on site, B? See Nice is trying to seek out showers and making sure that no B is over by A whatsoever. He'll get that info and he's gonna make his rotation as well. So here comes the monarch. My ult's ready. Trying to defend pretty well. Give another one with the classic. Now with the judge. Oh. Ooh, whistle in the sky though. 3v3 now though, still winnable. Yeah, swing an elbow. Oh, not get in the sky though. Nish fighting 1v1 in Zuka. Getting the kill with the mosh pit. 3v2 now. OD with gun as well. As well. Bomb hasn't been planted either, so that's something to note as well. Strong, or excuse me, you combat winger kind of locked on the site though. Yeah, this guy is coming through elbow. He's going to come from behind. Combat does not know, I don't think. 30 seconds Ooh, left. Like Ooh. Slender with a rotating into A behind combat winger. We'll give him the time to get a free gun. Nish reading the rotate. Looks like getting ready to go towards A. The timing unreal in that situation. Combat was just hanging out on B, thinking this guy was possibly going to push him from elbow. Not the case at all. They'll make the rotation fully, and they're going to be on A. So they're going to try to hang out in heaven and try to win through that. And you can see Nish is already going to get back on site, and he's going to try to get some info here. the wingman for Anchor. Fuse right there. One yeah, the fuse. There's a kill over there. Under with swing out of heaven, getting picked off Wingman's there by the double They're not gonna do a full defuse. They'll get it halfway off though. Spike, getting the half though. So like Odie's gonna get this round. Yeah. Half and Wingman really coming in clutch there, giving Odie the quick defuse. Under with though, coming up heaven, maybe looking to swing, get a late pick. No, saving the gun for next round. <laughs> Sorry. Well. <laughs> I was really expecting that beat push to be solidified. I thought Sky was going to really push from elbow there and try to pinch down on combat. Because like he had mentioned, he was just locked down on B. Like there was really nothing he could do because he was just over trying to fight off the Sky and whatnot. But overall, I mean, we'll see We'll see how things transpire. But I mean, a big round for the Monarchs there in that one. Just being able to save that off and being able to not be it. For not being a tie at the moment, though. Definitely so. uh, saw some good play that round from Super Hot Girl with the classic, getting two headshot picks yeah. on the enemy team, getting free guns for ODU, and then uh, Niche getting the 1v1 in heaven, killing the KJ, getting that free Vandal, <laughs> using it to win the round. Looks like Linderwood once again favoring B with the 4 up long and the 1 going hookah. And he's going to have all the information he needs right there. Linderwood getting ready to push. ODU, though, 3 on site now. Begins. Not 3 on site, fine. 1 elbow, up to back CT, but still right there. Nice Strawberry not giving himself away just yet. He's gonna be a little passive here. Okay, 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 coming okay, up okay, on him though. Uh, Ooh, oh, he just whiffs. Planted. Strawberry cow spraying right over the head. Enemy KO hitting that instant crouch with the phantom. Here comes combat though. He'll get I'm a winger popping off two head caps. They know one Suka. You can see frags on both sides here. Super Hot Girl will get the one on Sky and combat will lose his life as well. Ooh, Hot popping Hot. the wingman, but getting swung, pulling his gun back out. It's bad timing for Niche right there. Well, compared to game number one, we definitely got a game number two on our hands. That's this Linderwood team has rebounded pretty decisively. They've done pretty well in their attacking, and it's anybody's game at the moment here. 5 4, one round difference between these two teams, but overall. Monarchs just got to find a little bit of rhythm on the defensive side once again because Lennon was just getting those early picks and just getting the man advantage on the Monarchs on site. And I feel like the rotation's a little bit slow at the moment here. But it's a, uh, definitely a lot more ones this match for sure for both teams. A lot of whiffs from both sides, I mean. Yes, that's also true. That's something to point out as well. The whiffs have been there for the Monarchs so far. For Monarchs and for Linderwood, though, because they lost a lot of fights to Plastics in there yeah. as well. Comes to raise ult, he'll get the Super kill though. Girl, pushing showers, getting that early space, getting the gun down. Strawberry well. lost his fight to the omen, but combat will get the refrag himself. So, 4v3 situation, monarchs have the man advantage. Let's see how they're just gonna defend. It seems like the push will be on A. And Linda Woods is trying to open up things on A at the moment here, and cats taking the TP, coming around. Super Hawker on site, he'll catch showers supporting. He's coming around with the flash, letting them push on. Like Wonderwood taking the TP, going to Plant B. ODU now rotating around. Wonderwood leaving that KJ on flank to watch the teleporter. Spike Might be a late lurk up towards a hookup for ODU. Gotta be careful about. Stim beacon here. Off the brimstone. Are you pushing on the site? Gets the kill right there. Watching smoke. Yeah, popping the smoke. We're gonna get the defuse here. We'll get. 
possibly to halfway here. Has to be careful about those KJ uh, volleys. Doesn't matter though, getting covered by the team gets the, gets the views off. As well as getting the pick on the KJ hookah, Linder, Linderwood is not able to cover there. Love the commitment there from Cats. I thought he was just going to go halfway and get off of it, but Those commitment fake. gives him the round there. Those don't fake, just commits to getting it. Uh, Nish and Kamat Wing are doing a good job to cover him there. Bring that one pick on Hookah and then just uh, stalling the sky long enough that GT Cats can get it off. Charter Cow once again on B. Trying to get his cam lined up. <laughs> Having a hard time trying to get it up there in the right spot. There you there go. We go. That goes there. Nice trips down. And you can see Lindenwood are not gonna get aw get away from this B push at the moment. You have three of them going B long at the moment. You got one towards Hookah. KO by Hookah. Let's see if they're gonna commit here. And you got Reyna coming through A short. Got the one on the lurk, I think. Uh, Lindenwood though, leaving one on the A short lurk. Let's look yeah, and see it's if they can catch that rotate. Reyna is on the lurk right now. You got three members of this Monarch team on A at the moment here. Kind of when you're dogging out Garden, looking to get that info, sees too. Everyone just waiting to see who makes a mistake first. And you can see rotation is being made from the Monarchs. You can see them making their way over. You can see you Nish is run. coming through spawn at the moment. So they will have the numbers to counter this attack from Lindenwood. It's just a matter of when Lindenwood is going to strike because 50 seconds left to go. GT Cats though, still all slow on site A. Maybe catch that Reyna, but now he's looking around. But Reyna is on site, they might make... Enemy Reyna on A with free site. Might try to get that uh, flank right there. They're not going to have any idea Reyna is going to be behind them. Gecko is going to be there behind. They might get into a fight. Uh. Dude, you notice? 30 seconds left. Did they get the Reyna? Swinging they the Reyna gets it. the kill. He noticed at the last second. Enemy team Linderwood just rotating Where? off again now that they know that A is open. Barber Cow pop on the Cypher roll for info. And Omen utilizing the teleport himself to get over towards showers to reinforce. Just trying to defend this push here from the Monarchs trying to overtake. Linderwood though. Didn't kill Hobbit Wing was already. Oh, you just haven't killed on the around. retake. For Hakko though. Still gets a pick, swinging out. Gets two. One enemy. Three. Oh, goodness. 1v1 now. All that's left is the KJ and Showers. Throwing the nade. KJ using the molly to stall though. Spock girls. Getting ready to swing though, maybe. They went for half. Enemy KJ is ready to push. Uh, swings out and just gets them. Still, good pop from Spock girls. Good enough three. Though. Yeah. They made the effort. The they tried. But Lindy Wood still gets the round. 6 5 now though. ODU still with the advantage on the defensive side. Oh, yeah. This is, I believe this is the last round of the half here, so we are going to be seeing, we're going to be seeing an interesting end here to this first half. Can the Monarchs get the one round advantage before switching sides, or are we going to go to an even game as we switch sides? I mean, it's been anybody's game so far. Linwood has definitely fought back after that game one uh, loss that they had, 13-3 in favor of Old Dominion. My on is Lotus, but they fought back in map number two, and they've made this very competitive, and you can see... There's Sky utilizing her wolf, trying to get some info through Hookah. Go to you, going for the fast push out showers, hard rotating to B, knowing that Linderwood's likely just to go in the commit. And they might be able to catch this KJ. And the KJ that wasn't sure getting that info. You are Who is behind them now. Looks like it's caught though. And there's a shot there, so getting the kill. kill. Sees the three on flank that Linderwood, gonna be careful about it now. Smoking them off. We had some trades on site and Strawberry one getting the best of it. He'll get, he'll get one kill as well as Cats, but Strawberry's gonna lose his life in the process. So a 3v1 situation. He's popping the thrash and the Razor. Yeah. And there it is. Okay. Nothing KO can do there. He's getting all done. It's like ODU taking it to 7 5 with the round switch. Switching sides. Big half for Monarch, though. Big half. It's a big half. Now that no one attack. We're gonna have to see how things are gonna play out. What did they get in favor? Which side do they want to play off of to start the second half? You definitely want to set the tone here. You don't want to give Linden Wood some economy, try to battle back in this game because they are only two rounds down. Two rounds down, <coughs> definitely not favorable for them, but it's just all about the big start here in this pistol round. So do you definitely looking towards Zay this round? And Strawberry Cow need to lurk around somewhere.
four minutes short, one minute showers. Wonder what look in the challenges with the two pushing out showers. Probably kept like hashing them with the cam. Taco jumping in. Already backside getting a pick. Gets traded though by the enemy sky. Yeesh, getting the smoke, or excuse me, getting the spray through the smoke. Okay, we'll be able to get the bomb down, so good start here for the Monarchs attack. Will Cats be able to see him in the corner? Not going to be able to, be able, to uh, able to do so at the moment here. You can see Strawberry and Showers. Possibly could get this guy if he peeks, but not going to be able to do so at the moment. Yeah, we're just being patient here, waiting for the enemy to team to push out. Yeah. 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 Getting the info that he needed with that flash. He's yeah, about to be fighting. Huge. He's getting the kill, though. Oh. Swinging out. One enemy, enemy KO, though. Getting the kill. 2v1 situation. Then gets the trade. Strawberry Cat's playing up the cam to watch. Who gets him on the rat though, this taking the enemy KO out, giving Odie the first round of attack. Odie, you really been doing good on the pistol rounds. Yeah. Haven't lost any tonight. They definitely have. They got the 8 5 advantage now, so now they get a little bit more breathing room with the Lindenwood squad. You got five more rounds before you get the victory here, but this is about taking it one by run, uh, round round by round here, but let's see if, what the Monarchs can do here to try to really deplete this economy for Linda Wood to start the second half, if they can possibly get the second round here, but we'll just have to see how things transpire. You can see a lot going to A short. I believe, yeah, three members of this Monarch team going to A short. So they are favoring an A push at the moment here, and you can see Strawberry trying to get him straight to Dome and Smoke. He will get the kill in showers, unfortunately. Oh my goodness. Same play as the last round. Four main, one short. Go to you now. Getting sight early this time. Getting planted down a little faster than last. Now three stacking you, making ready to swing out. Strawberry Cowboy using the cam to watch the enemy pushing out showers from the teleporter. My eyes are dull. Catches the Reina. This guy dogging out you. Sees niche. AJ getting ready to peek. Super hot girl with the judge waiting. Get one. Oh, I can't get the second one. Gets no. traded though by the three. Lindenwood stacking up. Watching for anyone pushing out. One left though. 3v1. How about winger? Throwing the flash. Getting ready to swing. Sees the rainer. Grabs the vandal. Oh, you though. Backing out to save the guns. And that rainer's gonna lose his life too, so. <clears throat> yeah, there it's better to die for the economy. He dies like you still get uh, extra money there, so. Mm. We're just trying to make sure they can buy full this round. Great start, though. It's great, great start, though, for this Monarch team. They've just been able to get these first few rounds in the second half and really just starting off strong here, attacking wise. So they're just getting closer to a victory here this, ma uh, this evening in this matchup, but still plenty of game to play. Lindenwood has fought pretty bravely in this matchup so far. Let's see if they can try to get some momentum on their side, but at the moment, Monarchs have all the momentum at the moment here. Pushing that lead out to 9-5. Four round lead. Hot girl. Throwing the boom bot for Hoopa. Reading one there, sees the spray, throws the nade. Making ready to swing his rain up. Hops on lock. He's flashing out. Looks like Wonder was giving up the main site. Odeon able to push it in too. Ooh, KJ swings out the smoke by herself, gets picked off. Two enemies, or no, excuse me, one enemy back side. Enemy KO though, get in the kills. Two cats coming up for the trade. The nerf to plant there for me, so they will have time to nerf in their favor here. And cats. 3v3 now. Niche popping the threshold. Gets the kill on Omen. Super Hot Girl watching the main. Ooh, enemy the Sky, get in the kill, need. flashing out. Doesn't get Super Hot Girl, gets the Ooh. kill, and then swings elbow, getting the trade. Another good play from Jaden right there. That was a nice pair of kills there. 10 5. Push out that lead even more. It was a 6 5 game. That's something to take note to is, is this was a 6 to 5 game. Linda Wood was on the verge of possibly tying it up before going into the second half. But the Monarchs, four straight victories, definitely have grown this lead exponentially. But let's just see if they can just get it one by one and just get closer to that Season 13 up. mark. Season that momentum on the attack side. Yeah. Linderwood, once again on a kind of a funky buy. There, Omen with a Phantom and everyone else kind of with Stingers, Pistols, whatever they can get. 
And I believe our COD team just got a victory in their matchup, in their Nate Star League matchup. So congrats to the COD team, it looks like. So they weren't be they weren't going to be streamed tonight because we have our Valorant stream here. But we like to give them their recognition as well. But you can see Strawberry taking out the turret. Getting ready to enter site, pushing in right now. Taking that side space, going through the cypher trip. Cypher gauge. Tupac girl getting the first they pick. Odie now with the full side control, getting ready to get my down. Taking it down with the wingman plant. Strawberry Cow catching one with the KM. Mm. Towards end of KJ. KJ just getting the kill with the Revy. Monarch Robert still has the numbers though. With the timing on Kelby, didn't get spotted, I think. Oh, it's the pick on Omen. Doesn't get the pick on Sky though. Time out winger though. Still there watching. One enemy remaining. GP Cats getting the one coming out of elbow. And then also getting the one pushing out main. GP Cats with a little 3k there. Looking good. Great defense there for the Monarch. But you gotta love that push too, because that was a very quick push on the site. One Cypher got the info, got the turret out of the equation, and just made his way in. So you gotta love the play from the Monarchs there. They're feeling very good on their attacking right now, and they're not changing their strategy at all. They're still maintaining the same strat, is basically just pushing B here, but it looks like they might just push over to A. Enemy team now bringing out the Reyna up, trying to counterattack that push from Odu. That's such a cool animation, too. Yeah, that was the. I think it was. The animations in this game are just top tier. A lot of skins look really good. I think there was a celebration for Valorant watching in China. I think it was that um, fan skin. You gotta love it though. The skins no. in this game are just phenomenal. Once again, pushing B, breaking the turret. OD is now looking to back off this round though. Go towards A. Maybe? Yep, in the TV now. Just gonna make their way through showers, combat, trying to utilize the class. Still too familiar with on site though. So I have the rotation from this guy, so they'll have three on site. You have the op in play on A, and you get the bomb being planted. KO gets a kill there on niche. Cover count maybe looking to push out here, get an easy kill. He's behind the whole enemy team. Might get timing though from heaven. Ooh, it's the planner. We couldn't get the Reyna off though. Pulls up the classic and gets the kill on him. The cat gets one, gets the kill and showers. He's gonna utilize the old. Unlucky spray there for a Strawberry Cow not getting that Reyna right there. Underwood getting around the attacker side, their first one so far. No, no, no. You don't my From how things have played out in this game, it seems like that was just going to be another pair of kills or a barrage of kills that they're just going to have in that spam, but unfortunately not getting that final kill there on Arena. And with that being said, I mean, they gave up the round. It's their first round loss in five rounds, so the Monarchs, they had a lot of momentum on their side, but Lindenwood finally gets defensive hold that they needed they get the defusal off of their early plant from the monarchs and they get one right back so monarchs will not go to match point just yet but linda wood trying to find some rhythm on their, their end here definitely a little bit of unfortunate timing for strawberry cow there had the good idea to push back site but linda wood just pushing through the smoke already mm -hmm. on that spike oh well, that must be the new bundle that just came out so nice i haven't seen it yet i haven't played today <laughs> <laughs> i heard about it though So it seems that the idea will be on A. The full team for the Monarch, or almost the full team for Lindenwood is Top on the B. Razel. Omen is by himself in heaven. Top on the Razel. Ooh, getting picked off though by the Titans in heaven. But Strawberry with the refrag there on Omen as well. So they're going to be able to get the 4v4 the the situation. They'll get the bomb planet rotation is being made. Top on the Cypher ult, bro. And Sky's ult has been utilized as well. Sky popping a lot of useful gear to get that information. Strawberry Cow, though, spraying those jellyfish to get them on site. I'm just playing the post playing game. You can see Reyna in a short. Yeesh, can he catch flank. him off guard? He's got the op. He and the he op takes though. him out of the equation. A big kill. There's that gecko there. all though. Nish might try to wrap around showers and then pop the ult. Many things happening. Enemy 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 having a bit of a timing of you. Excuse me, Combat Winger though, getting the turnaround on the kill and getting the trade right there. Good little uh, 360 Match out there for point. him. Or 180, excuse me. Then first shout? Big round for the Monarchs are now on match point here as they're looking to win this game and two maps.
They just need one more round for the rest of this game, and they will win this match overall against Lendenwood University. Definitely doable, especially with the Gecko ult and the Sky ult up. A lot of info can be taken, a lot of uh, space they can get. And for those of you that do not know already, we're going to utilize this second here. But today is a special day for women in sports as we celebrate National Girls and Women Day and Sports Day at Old Dominion University. And on this occasion, we would like to express our gratitude towards the incredible ladies who contribute to the success of our ODU eSports program. We extend our sincere appreciation to the staff members who assist with streams, production, casting, and social media that include Alana, Ali, Gigi, Holly Grace, or HG, Josie, Destiny, and Izzy. We can see a lot of picks here. And they're going to get that round there, so Linwood will get one back. It's not over just yet, but to continue on this note, we'd also like to thank the players and managers in ODU Esports as well, including Mia, Jay, Rebecca, Tania, Destiny, Chi Chi, and Trini for their exceptional work thus far, and all their contributions have been instrumental in the success of our program and we are proud to celebrate Women's Day in Sports along with them. So a big day for women in sports overall, but back to the game itself. Lenwood with a big round and big that, that one, so they're able to stave off elimination tonight. Big save round for them right there. Getting them some guns. And some Nico to use that round. Blue man's gonna plant a it's like Linderwood though, double flanking out of showers. Short. Yeah. Odie putting a lot in the U-Haul right now. Bomb was planted pretty early in that situation too, and you see Kale getting a pick there on Niche. Yeah, Niche pushing CT there. She's gonna get the kill right there with the uh, Sheriff. Trying to be KO now, pushing on the site. Along with the KJ. Lane with the kill on Super Hot Girl as well. Wonder what pop on the KJ. We can ensure this round is coming up. Yeah, he's doing a lot of Molly damage on the KO. I'm like, trying to get the swing. Yeah, I'm just trying to get some picks. Wonder which is getting the kill. Big two rounds there. So Linwood not uh, not done yet. Big save for them into a big buy. Yeah. And they will still have that economy on their on their end anyways. And now they'll have the KO ult up too. Ready to deny ODU that push. ODU now only has the sky ult up. Still very versatile, useful ult and use good info in space. Just gotta make sure they use it wisely. ODU this time, leaning towards B. The cat's still gonna be leaning towards a long, long combat winger. And then Niche and Super Hako going towards Suka. Look at the enemy raise, or excuse me, Rain is peeking out long with the op again. It's the pick on Strawberry Cow. Just an unfortunate start to the round there, Strawberry losing that first fight, but Leno would have the advantage and and players at the moment here, and the models are just gonna have to figure out what they want to do here. You got multiple players pushing through hookah. You see Nice there trying to see if he can get anybody towards elbow. Going back to TV over there, but not gonna be able to do much off of that. They'll back off. Seems like the rotation might be made over to A short. Still got a minute five though. Still plenty of time for the monarchs to make something happen here. With Wonderwood ready for the rotate though, having one person you and one heaven. Ready to counter anything. Also looks like that Reyna is kind of sitting back towards spawn, ready to come up and kind of set that op up on A. That's what going in you. Puts the kill on the sky. It's that you control. Enemy the KO backside to heaven as well. 4v3 situation damage. in favor of Lindenwood. Still very doable for the Monarchs to win it in this round. What does that need? Back mid three. Left. Excuse me. Back triple. Still got one in heaven, he's gonna be beat with the op. This is that shot, and you get the kill, you take Reyna out of the equation, the op is not there anymore. Now a big two. pair of kills from Niche. Now a three, excuse me, now a three v one. A lot of kills there for you. That kill on Reyna in heaven opened up things for the Monarchs, taking the op out of the equation. It Jeez. comes down to KJ, who is in the respawn right now. That poor Linderwood KJ, all alone, late on a rotate. Locking down that V for them. Pushing into the three from ODU. She's got to overcome this 1v3 or the Monarchs are going to win this match. Monarchs just got to hold their angles and play defensive. And there you go. Super Hot, hot Girl. girl. Baby, we're that 3k that round. The second round for ODU. Giving them the win. Props to Lindenwood. They definitely made that a competitive match. They made the Monarchs work more than they had to in game number one of that one. But overall, Monarchs, do you have to say overall, they looked very good on the attacking side oh, throughout sure. tonight. They're attacking 
throughout the series tonight was phenomenal. It really made the difference on Lotus, which Lotus was probably going to be one of those maps where you thought it should be uh, should be favored in their place just because of the three sites. But overall, I mean, they exceeded expectations on map number one attacking wise, locked it down defensively. And then in this one, they had to overcome a little bit of adversity there. I mean, Lindenwood made it close. They made it a one round game on multiple occasions. They they go on that five round burst and then Lindenwood makes a little bit of a pushback themselves, but they lock down, they get the win. And they do not need to go to Ascent, which would been which would have been map number three. So overall, an impressive effort from the Monarchs. I mean, overall, really good. We saw you know early pop offs for ODU, especially with that round two ace from Super yeah. Hot Girl, and then the 4K from Nation, the other 4K from Super yeah. Hot Girl, along with that ace at the end to close out from uh, Strawberry Cow. Strong then, individual performances. I mean, Bind definitely one of the lesser played maps for ODU. So really good to see them kind of clutch it out there and get that win mm -hmm. after those few rounds from uh, Lindenwood. It's really good play overall from ODU. Yeah. So we're going to take a short break here. We're going to see if we can get one of the players in for an interview. But overall, still a great effort from the Monarchs here. Props to Lindenwood for their effort of trying to battle back in game number two. But the Monarchs ultimately get the victory here 2-0 in Valorant. So after this break, we'll be back with one of the members of our team. And we're going to have a little interview with them before we close things out. We hope you have enjoyed and we'll be right back.
here we have the star duels player of the XX Super Hot Girl, aka Jaden. How was the game? The game was pretty fun. Uh, the first game was uh, kind of a blowout. I wish it was a little closer. Um, I don't, I don't want to be like a little mean, but kind of stomped them. Uh, second game was a lot closer. I liked that. It was a lot more enjoyable, enjoy, enjoyable to play. Anything that really gave y'all trouble throughout either match? Or uh, yeah, their KO. Uh, match two, I don't know what he was taking, but he was going crazy. Couldn't stop him. And that op. Any plays you think you should like really focus on You know, working through, getting better, or anything you think really works? Uh, listening. We don't really like... I mean, like first game, we just stopped playing and doing comms. We just started like, saying, let's just push out and see what we can do. Second game, we were, like, were calling for players to do some things, and we weren't really doing that. So that's the only thing I think we should fix. Besides that, just really good game. Yeah, we played good. Good aim from everybody. Everyone played good. I know you had the really good ace second round on uh, Lotus. Yeah. Done a lot of 4Ks. I was, in, yeah, I was expecting an ace that second round. After I missed that jet, I was like, oh, I'm dead. That yeah, I remember you sadly didn't miss the jet and still, still got it, so that was really good. And I know you had that really good play on uh, Elbow on a B where you swung out with a classic and got two of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was really good. And then you missed the judge. I remember that. I know. I wasn't looking. I was looking at my mini map, and then he pushes past me. And I yeah, definitely after. a lot more whiffs in the second game for sure. <sighs> yeah, I am a lot. Besides that, the really good. Nearly just as the crisp. The KO locked in. I know. I don't know. With the op. Shout out to you. I don't remember your name, but you're really good, dude. <laughs> but not better than me. <laughs> no, it's really good stuff, man. That was that was good. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I don't know if I'm allowed to say it. like. I mean, hey, you know. Y'all talk trash, we have to talk back. They're being a little toxic, too, apparently. Say, all I gotta say. That's what uh, Strawberry Cow Logan was saying, so. Nothing over trash. the top. Just keep it clean, you know. All love, no hate. But hey, I mean, really good game. I don't know what else to ask you, but. Yep. You know, good game. I mean, a lot of good plays. A lot of good race, actual results, especially up short on A, on side C. Just good stuff overall from the team. Yeah, I'm proud of everyone. Uh, anything coming up, next games? We play tomorrow. I don't think it's being streamed, but yeah, we play tomorrow. I don't know. I don't think that's that's gonna be uh, probably about the same thing that happened today. They're gold, I think. <laughs> so yeah, it's unfortunate. I mean, hey, you know, a win's a win. That's your what? Um, Second win. Nace league or? Nace, yeah, that was nice. Two and zero right now. Just keep it up. Hopefully, go three and zero next game. Oh, I know yeah. you're playing next week on same day. Same so day. We're streaming as well. Hopefully playing Team you Scream before, so you have a little bit of info on them. Oh, yeah. Hopefully bring that info into the match, try to play off the strengths of the units that you already know, and just use that yeah. to your advantage. We're permabanning Bind. <laughs> <laughs> They're not getting Bind next match, I'm sorry. I mean, Bind, I know y'all don't play that match that much, but no, we do not. We're it didn't look that. bad today. Oh, oh today, yeah, it was fine, but the team reversed next week, they destroyed us on Scream. We're, we're banning that first. Definitely excited to see more Lotus, because your Lotus was Our Lotus I mean, was really, really good. good. Uh, I mean, we scrimmed it, and we, we didn't really do too good, but... Today we played really well. Just keep it up. Keep these wins. That's exciting. Oh, uh, okay. We'll be right back. Be right back. <laughs> All right, and welcome back, folks. I am back here at the Castle of Death, and that was a nice interview to have. <laughs> but overall, I mean, what are your last thoughts about tonight's game? I mean, just really good, solid gameplay from the ODU, especially Lotus. I mean, yeah, the gap was great there. They really just 
the attacking was just so much just so much bigger than I was expecting. Like I expected them to win on the attacking side, but I didn't expect them to be that dominant in Lotus number one. And you, you saw you had mentioned it in the interview that that was something that kind of like kind of exceeded your expectations as well. So it'll be nice to see how things will play out. And then like he mentioned, they don't even want to play Bind. I didn't I didn't yeah. think they played bad on Bind. I thought. I thought the rotations were a little bit slow at the beginning there, but they started picking up pace like once they started understanding like what Wonder Linden was trying to do uh, as they were winning those later rounds. But I mean, overall, I thought their performance on Vine was very well. But then again, that was his team, and the team that they play next week, which we don't know, is obviously much better. So we'll just have to go by what they say. But I mean, overall, I mean, I would have I would have liked to see an ascent, but. I mean, hey, we, the good thing is we didn't even need to go to game three. Yeah. Like, that's the, the whole big thing. Like, that's how impressive the performance was tonight. But overall, I mean, pretty good performance. A lot, a lot to look forward to with ODU Esports this semester. Overall, we are starting to get back, uh, to get back into the full throttle of things with streams coming up uh, on a weekly basis. But that is going to be up for, uh, for us tonight. And uh, our next stream will be tomorrow night, which will be Super Smash Brothers. It'll be live at 7 p.m., I believe. And we are going to be facing off against the University of Oakland. So it'll be interesting to see how things will play out in Super Smash. With Super Smash Brothers, it's usually one of our top games in our program overall. So if you guys are interested in watching that, be sure to tune into the stream tomorrow. And then we'll have another stream on Friday, which would be Call of Duty. So Call of Duty will be taking place on Friday night as well at 7 o'clock. So if you are interested in watching some COD, be sure to tune in then. But overall, that is going to be it. And uh, if you want to follow us, be sure to follow us on all of our platforms, Twitch, socials at ODU Esports. But other than that, that's going to be it. I have been Benjamin Draper, your caster. I've been Lee Logan, your other caster. And we hope you have a wonderful night. And we hope to see you guys tomorrow night for Super Smash Brothers. Have a great night, everyone.